Um, so take a look at these skulls. Everyone has a bunch of skulls here. Uh, except for this table, this table doesn't have a human skull, so I'm going to give you my uh, Halloween special. Uh, can everyone figure out who the human skull is? And, uh, and kind of take that, take that guy and set him to one side of the table, on your table, whoever you're with. Figure out who you think the human is. Uh, look at the person next to you. The human skull should look just like that person next to you. Mm -hmm. There's no one's here. I think it's this one. I don't want to touch it though, you guys. Touch now, it out of all these real? skulls, we have hominid skulls, we have great ape skulls, or ape skulls. Which one is the most different, is the most different from the human skull? Even if you're not right, which one is the most different than the one you think is the human? Hold that one up. Have someone in your group hold the one that's the most different. The most different. <laughs> Alright, so you guys got that on your hands? You guys got that? You guys got it? And you guys. So everyone here has, has picked out the gorilla skull. Alright? Out of this table, the gorilla is the most different. Out of the hominid skulls and ape skulls, the gorilla is the most different than um, the human. Obviously, if I had a gorilla here, you'd say, oh, that's Mr. Noon, hopefully, and that's a gorilla. You can tell the difference between the two of us, I hope. Uh, now, which one, you got the gorilla skull, hold it so everyone in your group can see it. Which one is most similar to the gorilla skull? Just have someone else find that one. Keep holding the gorilla skull. Find the one that is most similar to the gorilla skull. And hold that one up. You think that one? I'll give you a few minutes to, to, uh, to find the one that is most similar to the gorilla skull and hold that up. All right, good. You guys, well, just one. Just one skull. You got to make a decision. Hi, Mom. Good. Yes? Hi, Mom. On YouTube. Yes? Over here, you guys got one yet? No, no. You like this one and you like this one. All right, let's look at this. This is very good, though. It is very good. All right, we got two things. If you guys want to look over here, this group was a little indecisive. We got two ones here. Who thinks it's this skull from this table right here? You do? Why? Why do you think this one's most similar to that one? Because, like, the face. The face is sloping. All right, what about the teeth? You notice any similarities between the teeth? It is savage canines, right? There's big chopping. Uh, everyone has this. Now this one, someone had this one. Why do you think this one's similar? Because it's got these giant, uh, these, these ridges on the side, these arches. The bones, yeah, the cheekbones. Uh, zygomatic arches, all right? What they allow is they allow muscles, right? The bigger these are, they, they demonstrate how big your jaw muscles are, which means how well you can chop something up. So this guy was a chomper. Uh, what, what's different? What, what besides those? What else is uh, the small ridge? They both have a small ridge on the head, and that once again, that's for the jaw bones or the jaw muscles. They attach across those ridges on the head. Uh, the jaw muscles come in here. Now a gorilla, uh, you can hold this one up. Uh, what we have here, <clears throat> why, why did you guys decide on the one, hold the one up that you thought was uh, most similar to the gorilla. All right, why did you say that one was the most similar? The, the brow and then the ridges on the back, the, the heavy brow. What about the, the teeth you said, right? Same over here? All right, so what you guys picked, that's the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee. And you... If I had a gorilla and I had a chimpanzee and I was standing here, uh, hopefully I'd say, all right, put two of these groups together or two of these animals together and separate one. And hopefully you'll separate me from the chimp and the uh, gorilla <laughs> because they might hurt me, right? So, you, I mean, right, you'd probably have a chimp and a gorilla are more similar and that's how people thought. They're like, there's the apes and then there's the humans. They, we separate each other. So now let's look. Put those two skulls, you can put them down, put them together, put them down over there. So hopefully you have a human skull on one side and you got the two ape skulls on the other. Now these are the current, these are current animals and you can see how we separate these, all right? We can look at chimps and gorillas and say these, 
These guys are, are very similar. They're very similar. And the human skull you have over here is different than the ape skulls. We could, we could see those differences. And back when Darwin was alive, that's all they had to go on. Here's a human, here's apes. Apes are different than humans. And Darwin said, we'll find things that go in between someday. And they said, you're crazy. And then they spit on him and threw a rock at him. <laughs> so uh, let's go on to the next slide. Here's my slide guy there. We'll go on to the next slide. And uh, the first <coughs> hominids. All right, the first hominids, uh, first direct ancestors to humans. All right, so I don't have a skull of that, uh, that common uh, ape ancestor. Um, but there is one, there's a, there's a skull. I don't remember what museum they had, maybe the Smithsonian or something like that. I think they did have a replica of the Smithsonian. But um, this is considered the first hominid. Why it's considered the first hominid is because uh, this is Lucy, and, uh, and this is a replica of Lucy up here. I'll have you do that in a second. Um, and when they found the leg bones of Lucy and the rest of it, they noticed that Lucy right, walks upright. And they can tell that with the hip and the legs. Lucy, uh, although she doesn't look like me still, hopefully, uh, when they reconstructed everything they found from her at the find, she is an upright walking hominid. That's what hominid means. Walking upright like us. That's what the word hominid means. It's not homo the same, but hominid as in kind of like us. Because uh, chimpanzees, and gorillas and orangutans, they all walk on their knuckles kind of thing, right? Right? Yeah. And their hip, if you look at their, their bones, their hips show this. And also, the way they're, um, when their knees bend, if you take a human leg bone like this, and I don't think, does this sort of detach? Well, this doesn't detach. If you look at this uh, leg bone here on this guy, you'll notice something very interesting. Because of the fact that we walk upright, right here at the knee, if you guys looked at this, you notice that this is flat. This is flat right here. And what that, that ability, this flatness here, I could take this bone off and I could set it on this table and it's flat enough that the leg bone all by itself with no muscles will, will sit upright. Because it's worn when we walk, it's such a way that it always goes up. Now, gorillas and orangutans, when they walk, their, their, uh, their knees are bent. And if I had a leg bone from a gorilla or an orangutan and tried to set it up, it would always fall over because the bone's at an angle. Uh, where the knee joint comes in is at an angle. It's not nice and uh, flat like this. So with Lucy's leg bone, you can set it on a table, which doesn't mean that it's that's not something that you're just like, oh, you know, you just can't take a gorilla and uh, make him hold hot drinks and walk around in a circus. And then when he dies, you're like, oh, I can take his leg bone. The leg bones are the way they are. They're born the way they are. Uh, and that's a part of their adaptation for the way they are. So uh, being the first hominid means the first uh, species to walk upright in a human or like us.